former FBI Director James Comey admitted in a recent interview that he personally made the decision to send a pair of FBI agents to interview President Trump's National Security Advisor, Michael Flynn, in 2017 and acknowledged the arrangement was not typical for dealing with a, house, a White House official. The new details about that fateful interview, which led to criminal charges against Flynn, come as a federal judge ordered special counsel Robert Mueller's team late Wednesday to turn over all the documents related to Flynn's questioning ahead of sentencing. Asked to describe how the FBI agents ended up at the White House to interview Flynn in January 2017, Comey, speaking to MSNBC's Nicole Wallace during a forum discussions on Sunday, said flatly, I sent them. Comey went on to acknowledge the way the interview was set up. Not through the White, House, White House's uh, counsel's office with the, the lawyers, but arranged directly with Flynn, which was not standard practice. He called it something that he probably wouldn't have done or even gotten away with in a more organized uh, administration. Like if he had done it in Obama's or the previous Bush's administration, he said he couldn't have done it and gone away, gotten away with it. Describing how it's usually done, Comey said, if, if the FBI wanted to send agents into the White House itself to interview a senior official, you would work through the House, uh, the White House counsel, and then there would be discussions and approvals, and it would go from there. Recall, recalling his decision to bypass those steps, James Comey said, I thought it's early enough. Let's just send a couple guys over. So basically, early enough in the administration, he thinks he can get away with it, you know, not, not following the protocol. January 2017 interview with the FBI is the basis of Flynn's guilty plea for making false statements in a deal with Mueller's team. Flynn pleaded guilty to lying about whether he had talked to former Russian ambassador Sergei Kislyak in December 2016 on limiting the Russian government's response to former President Barack Obama's recently imposed sanctions for election meddling. Flynn was pushed out shortly after his interview for misleading Vice President Pence and other officials about those contacts. But according to Flynn's legal team, FBI agents in his case did not instruct Flynn that any false statements he made could constitute a crime and decided not to confront him directly about anything he said that contradicted their knowledge of his wiretapped communications with the Russian ambassador. Earlier this week, Flynn's legal team also made the allegation that the FBI had pushed him not to bring a lawyer to, in, to his interview with agents at the White House. U.S. District Judge Emmett G. Sullivan ordered Mueller late Wednesday to turn over all the government's documents and memoranda related to Flynn's questioning. Flynn's sentencing is set for Tuesday. Mueller's team has already suggested to court that Flynn be spared jail time, citing his cooperation. But Sullivan's uh, demands puts Mueller's, under, puts Mueller's team under the microscope and sets a 3 p.m. Eastern Time Friday deadline for the special counsel's office to produce the sensitive FBI documents. And that time has now passed. Sullivan, who overturned the 2008 conviction of former U.S. Senator Ted Stevens after, after the government misconduct came to light, is weighing how to sentence Flynn, who pleaded guilty to one count of lying to federal authorities during a 2017 interview in the West Wing. Flynn faced mounting legal bills that forced him to sell his home amid the prosecution. If he was uh, probably wealthier, like, uh, say, Paul Manafort, he, he maybe would have gone, tried to fight the charges longer because he could afford the legal bills, which is an unfortunate thing with the legal system. On Thursday, President Trump tweeted about Flynn's case saying, they gave General Flynn a great deal because they were embarrassed by the way he was treated. The FBI said he didn't lie, and they overrode the FBI. They want to scare everybody into making up stories that are not true by catching them in the smallest of misstatements.